So I had this shed built five years ago as my ultimate workshop. We live in snow country, so it had to be strong, but even so, it's way over engineered with about four times more steel than it needs. Good shed, but it's got an annoying design fault because I made the loft platform too high, so there isn't quite enough clearance with the chain hoist to move the snowmobiles freely on and off the platform. It's been bugging me for years, but I could never work out how to fix it until two weeks ago when I had a brainwave. Why not relocate the hoist to the ridge beam above it, get rid of the original beam and extend the platform out? Uh, and when I say I had a brainwave, what I really mean is someone else had a brainwave. That would be the guru. He's the fixer. This turned out to be a super easy job and I don't know why we, that's the royal we, didn't think of it years ago. Anyway, I'm glad we eventually did think of it because it's really transformed the shed and made everything way better. So we got the beam down, took it to the shed up the road where it's going to get in the way for the next hundred years and my uh, personal design failure was finally fixed. In fact, I call it better than fixed. It's like it was always meant to be like that. Especially when I realised that I may as well extend the whole platform so we can pull out any sled and bring it to the hoist in the middle. And uh, two hours later that was done and it was time for the dog to go eat. Actually, hold it there puppy, get back on the couch. I want to fix something else. Yep, super cheap Chinesium electric hoist of some random voltage, depending on which part of the two instruction books you read. The first instruction was a warning. A warning to open the box. In fact, to be sure of opening the box classic Chinese irony because of course the warning to open the box was inside the box. Then I learned that the 220 volt mating lift is used widely but it could permanently distortion or backfire if it is not up to snuff. Yeah it was a bit confusing to read that the hoist was explicitly not to be used for hoisting even though the illustration showed hundreds of uses for an electric hoist in what looked like the 15th century. Still I appreciated the clear safety instructions don't let the hoist lift stuff if it's been drinking and use it properly or you'll cause plane crashes or ooziness. Anyway, after fabricating a few extra parts that needed to have any hope of staying connected to the beam, we got that piece of crap to work and voila!